Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. And I told you guys it would be happening in the summoning video yesterday. I'd be showcasing all these units that I'd be able to get rainbow because you know your boy loves that Dragon Ball Heroes, bro. So the first unit, uh, you know, very appropriately that we are going to be showcasing is the Rainbow Star Super Saiyajin Suri Zeno Goku. Very excited to showcase this guy. He is a very, very solid unit. In terms of what I gave him here, um, I did give him 17 crit and a little bit of additional, and I will show you why right now. He is actually pretty solid. Um, as you can see here, super STR, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Uh, that is actually obviously really good. Um, he is obviously kind of like stealing Omega's leader skill, except only for super types. So this guy would definitely work as a sub leader in Dokkan Battlefield, or just like an STR leader, I guess, if you don't have one. Super attack causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. That is the reason why I gave him a little bit of additional, because obviously STR gets a little bit of crit boost anyway, just from their natural potential system. Passive skill, attack and defense plus 80%. Plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing a super attack, guard activated against all attacks. So obviously he's guarding, so it's like he's basically um, not taking super effective damage from any type, at least on the defensive front. And he's also giving himself a very good attack boost as well. So Link's Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, the Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha over in a flash and limit breaking form, and his categories are Super Saiyan 3 and your Saiyans. So, he is a very solid unit, especially just for an SSR. So let's get into him here. Um, I know that this is kind of weird that I'm showcasing him here, but A, I want to get really far in this Vegeta Easy A. I already completed it last night. And B, I figured this would be kind of a different setting to showcase a unit in. Um, I, you know, I don't really usually do unit showcases in an easy A, and honestly, we'll probably take it out, uh, take him out before we get to Goku, and that's okay, I'll just kind of explain a little bit in the meantime, because this Goku is disgusting on this easy A, but, um, Xeno, yeah, <laughs> you can see that, um, oh, also, uh, I guess I forgot to, uh, mute my notifications, even though I put it on Do Not Disturb, but okay, phone, anyhow, though, um, the... Xeno Goku will do very well on this stage, so that is part of the reason why I brought him here. Obviously, because he's getting a little bit of a boost because he is a Super Saiyan 3. Um, so nonetheless, though, still a very cool, um, still a very cool, interesting way to showcase this guy, I feel like. Bardock's gonna take him out real quick here. That additional attack, baby! What? <laughs> Come on, Bardock! Come on, bro! Step up your game! <laughs> Come on, my dude. And he got stunned. I mean, it doesn't really matter, considering he's not the one attacking, but whatever. Oof, my boy. Oof, my boy. All right. We took him out here. Let's move on to the next stage. All right. Let's hop into the next stage here. I guess uh, I did get technically a new phone. I don't know if I talked about this yet in the video. My old phone. It's technically a new phone, but it's the same model because my old phone was kind of being buggy. Xeno Goku's in the last slot again. Oh, my gosh. Come on, bro. And it's, like, impossible to not get him to super. All right. I'll just talk for a little bit while we're waiting for him to get there. Um, but I did get a new phone um, because my old one was being slow and the battery did not hold very well. So they sent me a new one for free with the plan that I have, which is so awesome, actually. Um, but this is actually um, my first time recording with it, I think. So... We'll see how it goes. I did forget to that do not disturb. You have to turn off that it doesn't um, have drop downs, which I still think is kind of silly, but whatever. Anyway, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to fly through this. I want to see Xeno Goku come through, but unfortunately the past two times he's been on the last slot, though on this event at least he has been hitting consistently for like at least bare minimum a million damage. Even he's hitting for a lot of damage. I mean, granted Super Saiyan 3 has that boost, but... Okay, um, if we don't get him um, in like the first or second slot on the next run of this, because these are obviously pretty quick run-throughs, uh, 
I'll just like, you know, keep playing through until we get them on rotation because I don't want to make you guys wait every time while we're just, you know, like trucking through here. There we go. Bardock took him out real quick. He said, you want to showcase your mans? I got you, bro. Thank you, Bardock. I appreciate you. All right. So let's move on to the next stage. Hopefully we actually get Xeno Goku on the first rotation. I figured I'd just throw this in there, um, the first two anyway, just because, um, you know, it's just kind of me like explaining and talking a little bit. So, and you know, I like to run my mouth. <laughs> Anyhow, though. Let's see, what do we got? Okay, he's in the second. Oh no, first rotation, right here, perfect. Okay. So, he is very, very good. Um, let's throw him here. So, obviously, he links very well with Super Saiyan 3 Trunks. Um, Trunks ain't gonna do nothing, so we don't gotta worry about him, um, taking all the glory here. I just love the fact that Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Goku is in the game. Like, the fact that I can say that he's in the game is just so awesome to me because I love the Xeno Goku design so much. And Super Saiyan 3 is my favorite form. So, the fact that they combine those two and it's an actual card in the game, uh, it just makes me so happy. I wake up in the morning and smile. Alright, so obviously his attacks are super high. I love this super attack, by the way. So good. A melee, perfect. So, that's kind of what he's been hitting around for. Um, like, base without a crit obviously obviously the um the other goku's gonna hit a little bit harder because of that hot type advantage and then we're just gonna have uh <laughs> we're gonna have easy a goku clap with the might of zeus but i have been really enjoying um using xeno goku and you do have to keep in mind that he is only an ssr and he's hitting for that much like he, obviously he doesn't dokkan awaken yet and um besides being a good attack option He's also a very good defense option because he does have that guard active all the time. So nothing's going to be penetrating him. He is a very good card. Vegeta, the Xeno Vegeta, which I think I'll showcase even though I haven't rainbowed him. <laughs> all right, well, there goes Vegeta. Um, I think I will um, still maybe do a showcase on him just because I really like the unit, um, even though he's not rainbow. He does hit harder, but obviously Goku has that guard beam going for him, I suppose. So... And also, um, Vegeta's not good for this, because obviously the, um, the enemy is STR. Um, okay, good. I love right now, too, because there's just Super Saiyan 3 Bardocks up the wazoo, which is just so great. I'm a big fan of the Super Saiyan 3 team, obviously, since it's my favorite. Xeno Goku is in the last slot again. Okay, I won't make you guys sit through this unless he actually ends up getting on rotation. So, I'm gonna cut here, and then we'll go to the next time that he's actually in rotation. Alright. Finally, we have him on rotation. Oh my gosh, that took way longer than I thought it was going to. But, the boy is here. So... Let's have him attack again. I want him to attack at least three times in the video, and then I'll be satisfied. He's already attacked once. Maybe doing the easy A wasn't such a good idea. Just because, by the way, taking that damage like a champion because of that guard. Um, let's see how much he does here. A million solid. Okay. Uh, maybe doing the easy A wasn't such a good idea because since we go through it so fast, it's hard to actually get him to be in the spotlight, but... Whatever, man. What's done is done. I ain't taking it back now. I'm doing a difficult. Bardock just crit for two million twice. He's trying to show Goku up. He's like, Zeno Goku. <laughs> Who's that? Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go for another run. I'm just gonna keep it fluid this time because I'm sick of sitting here and not talking for like. <laughs> like 10 minutes by now because we've been just trucking along through this um through these stages trying to get them to come on rotation there we go now the game wants to play my game okay wonderful all right let's put mine on rotation we'll put them in between those two bardocks I almost said three bardocks i don't see three bardocks on my screen here unless we have uh mass saiyan but he's not bardock obviously all right so bardock is gonna take those hits a little bit but that's okay I do really like his super attack too. It's really cool. 
All right, so Xeno Goku's going to come through now. Hopefully, my mans can get a crit. Thankfully, he doesn't have a chance to be stunned because of the position that he's in. And he's going to... Okay, another melee. Another melee. All right, I'll take it. I do want to get a crit out of him. So, I think I'm going to try and go for um, one more attack. Because I do want to see a crit out of him. Unfortunately, with how this team is set up, they link so well that, like, you know, the super amazing units like the uh the easy a goku can't not attack so oh well it'd be like that sometimes you know all right so here comes trunks 500k i'm not sure if i want to rainbow him yet he's sa1 and he's all dupes unlocked um and his bottom path is the only thing that's not filled out i don't know if i want to actually go through with him though we'll see also i think who's in the last slot Okay, yeah, Goku will probably end up taking him out. Okay. We will uh, do one more run then to get Zeno Goku. Obviously, if he's not on the first rotation, then we will just, you know, then we'll just cut and wait for a crit. But I think you guys do get the main picture by now. He's a very solid unit. You know, he is just an SSR, but he still hits pretty decently hard. Um, besides that, he obviously has that guard mechanic going for him. So whenever he's out, he's going to be tanking those hits. I don't know why I hit that CR. He's going to be tanking those hits like a champion for you. So he is definitely a good option on multiple teams. As well, obviously, his linkage is pretty solid. He does not have Fierce Battle, though, obviously, because he does not do on Awaken. And he's in the last slot again. All right, let me cut. You know an easy, eh? It's too easy when you can stall to get the unit that you want to come out. Yikes, my boy. All right. Xeno Goku, show me what you're made of. Show me your war face. <laughs> and then the rest of y'all will have no trouble taking him out. All right. Xeno Goku, hit me with that crit, bro. Show me what you got. You rainbow, bro. Show me what you got. There we go, baby. That's what's up. Xeno Goku, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I needed. Thank you all so much for watching today's showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely a video, or a, definitely a video. It is definitely a video. What I meant to say was, it is definitely a unit that I recommend putting some investment into if you do end up pulling him. He is definitely worth the SA-10, as you can see here. And if you pulled enough to rainbow him, I would highly recommend doing so. But anyway, guys, uh, I might do a video going really hard on this EZA, like, once I get to really high stages and, like, maybe get to one that I can't beat. I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, though, regardless, hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Xeno Goku is in the game, and I honestly could not be more excited. Epic you 2 out. Peace!